see from my screen um have the sandbox uh, for cisco open uh, link is in the description now from here you can explore the various um capacities that is, are available one of my favorites is the cisco modeling labs uh, from which you can interact with uh, the various uh, nodes so there's, there's so many of them uh, i'll show them uh, later in a later video uh, one of the things about cisco modeling labs and generally uh, these are platforms that are available here so they are it's a sandbox it's only available for a limited amount of time so let's check out uh, the cisco modeling labs so you can only launch when it's available but some of them are actually available at any time uh, meaning there's no limit uh, but uh, note you can also you can only uh, load an instance or an instance at a time so if you launch cisco modeling labs you can't launch uh, like this cisco sd1 uh, 2012 at the same time now from the details here uh, you are able to tell uh, the, the the various uh capabilities that are provided from the the, the specific uh, instance that you have launched so for example for the cisco modeling labs uh, you are supposed to uh, connect using a vpn so it's a tool for building virtual network simulations or labs for you to test out new topologies protocols and config changes and automate network tests via ci cd uh, pipeline integration and learn new things about the cool world of networking so you will find a similar server that uh, includes a lab topology example lab topology loaded and running uh, this similar network represents a common topology of iol l2 also included a few hosts a linux host now these uh, linux hosts uh, you can add more of course uh, as you build a topology, uh, so long as the topology doesn't uh, exceed 20 nodes that are running concurrently, you can keep building. Uh, once you have built your node, um, that, that's for the system model in labs, of course. Once you have built a lab, you can also just shut it out, down, uh, leave it uh, as, as a blueprint, and uh, create a new lab and to uh, get it running and, and then you can interact with the same then you can go back to the other one once you have completed whatever you are doing so uh, once you have uh, managed to reserve uh, let me show you the reservation huh? so you can only th th there's a limit of 125 active uh, environments uh, for the cml uh, the default duration is eight hours maximum is for four days so if you can be able to launch I'm not going to launch for now and uh, I'm going to launch a later video but once you launch then you can exit you can uh, so before you launch they're given the the, the the option whether to launch for the default eight hours which is the minimum of eight hours um, or you can extend to a maximum of four days and there are ones you have extended to if you don't extend actually uh if before your time is over so if you say eight hours before the eight hours are over if you choose to extend uh you can still just go on and extend i last deployed uh, and around here on uh, december 9th i'm not sure this is actually right because i have not deployed um an oh no sorry this this uh the cml was last deployed today at 6 24 a.m someone uh deployed at 6 24 a.m so this kind of shared environment in a way but really, when you launch your instance, um, your instance is not open to the other one unless, uh, and unlike some other, uh, like the OS XC that uh, will be somehow open to other developers. They are they open the available OS XC. So, um, from here, uh, once you have launched your CML, you're able to access it via a CML web interface via this uh, IP so use a VPN con connection and uh, these are also so guys um, from what you can see there's so much to interact with I, I know I have uh, gone so much into the CML but there's so much so much so much here to explore uh, based on what you are in uh, the catalyst center this is always on this means there's no environment limit so like uh, if I choose to go here and show the um, 
so there's no limit but it, it, it only goes up to five days so once the five days have expired actually everything that you have configured on that instance will be erased no matter um whether you are actually working on it at that time or you have moved on but you can also close the instance before the five days have expired uh, you can just there's a button to close it i'll demonstrate later um as you can see there's uh, aci uh, simulator aci uh, simulator zone um catalyst center sandbox this is also just uh, um, this dna the formerly dna center uh, CSCD uh, for infrastructure automation, Cisco 8000 for uh, Sonic Notebook, not sure what that is, but uh, interact with Sonic on the Cisco 8000 router, uh, Cisco uh, 8000 XR Notebooks, Emergency Responder, and IT con uh, Control Center, uh, the CML, my favorite, uh, I'm pretty sure it will be the favorite for most people who are especially uh, beginners, uh, Cisco SD1 2012. Um, SD1 is currently the core technology in a lot of, um, especially enterprise networks. Um, the, with the secure network analytics, um, a secure control, a Cisco security cloud control, uh, which was the Cisco defense against data. But there is uh, the Cisco, the sandbox is actually very much useful, especially for someone that's studying for uh, the CCNP. Uh, for the CCNA, it might be a bit much, but uh, it still could be quite useful. But uh, especially if you are studying for the NECCNP, the these CML sandboxes are just right for you. I think the Cisco's umbrella secure uh, internet gateway. There's a lot of stuff here, guys. Uh, cloud native uh, SD1 collaboration 14.0, Cyber Vision 433, uh, Edge uh, intelligence IoT operations dashboard, Firepower management center. This uh, kind of Firepower is uh, the firewall. Uh, firepower threat defense these two are firewalls ISE ISE uh, that's uh, you can that's uh, for security uh, that's identity services identity services always on so if you're configuring a uh, security you can actually just launch it here uh, and just test out uh, the capabilities and, and the various interactions um, edge computing and cyber vision on IE 3400 iOS XE, iOS XE is more of uh, um, iOS XE is, is, is more of uh, um, is, uh, it's programmability, programmability, the same here, I've interacted with that one at least, uh, Meraki dashboard, uh, iOS, iOS uh, 1.115, 1, 1, network service operator, uh, orchestrator, sorry, NSO, SD1, so much there's so much vnexus dashboard and all that so is um this is a brief uh, overview of the um cml of the sandbox sorry cisco sandbox 